morning, everybody. It's Friday morning, 12th of May. It's just gone 7 a.m. And our guest is here. Good morning, Harry Styles. Good morning. How are you? I'm not too bad, actually. You've been weird today. Am I? A little bit. It's early, isn't it? Not bad weird, but oh, I, don't okay. it, I don't know if it's early weird or if it's like everyone's going to hear the album weird. It's a big day. I think early weird. Yeah. I feel all right. You're quite early the, you're early as a person, though. You do like waking up early in the I morning. I feel a bit perky. Yeah. Like a bit too perky. Too perky? Like annoying everyone. Perky. Well, hello. That's yeah. my job every day. Yeah. Just here being annoying. That's a good point. Um, are you all right, though? You're good? I'm very well, thanks. Thanks gonna, for having me in. Thank you for coming in. It's going to be thanks. it's going to be exciting, this. It's fun. It's going to be fun because we're going to get to hear this album. And it felt like yep. when it when it first got announced that it was going to be May the 12th. May the 12th felt like in the future. Mm. Didn't it? Like yeah. so far away. But that's yeah. today. It's today. It's happening. It's come around quick. It's come around quick. Yeah. What's been happening since last time you were in? Because you were in what? Um, a, mon- a month ago? I was in a month ago. I went, uh, did some TV shows. Uh-huh. Um, did some radio shows. Uh-huh. Um, and now I'm back. And now you're back. I've gone full circle. Yeah, and then Very this excited. is the end of the campaign, actually. Yeah. He started it here. He ended it here. In a trouser. Album two on the way. Back here. Yeah. In a trouser. In a, another trouser. Good yeah. suit today. Thanks. Did you make it out of tea towels? Why? <laughs> 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 Have people been in touch this morning? Have like your friends been in touch? Have your family been in touch? Yeah. Uh, one of my friends texted me this morning saying that he'd been to the toilet to one of the songs. Number one or number two? Um... Number, on number two. Oh wow! Yeah, uh, his name is Harry, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And his surname is Lambert. Harry Lambert going to the toilet <laughs> to your album. It's a beautiful image. Well, it's first thing in the morning, Harry. At least you're regular. Yep. Um, next up, we're going to play another <coughs> song. I don't know if any of your friends have visited the toilet whilst listening to this one, um, uh, but we're going to play I'll Carolina. Okay. Tell us all about Carolina, because this is the one we, we saw you debut on the on the telly in, in New York the other day. Yeah, in New York. Um, so Carolina was the last song that right. uh, wrote for the album. It was the last, uh, it was kind of like, felt like what finished it off. And we'd had like a week, two weeks of being in like a real funk, where kind of everything was terrible. Uh, and then I went out for a day and then wrote this. And uh, it was really fun. And then it was kind of the the bit of fun that it was missing. I think you kind yeah. of felt like it was it was finished after doing this one. Now, is this about a specific person? This song? Uh, yeah. And is, are they from Carolina? I'm guessing. Yeah. And do they know it's about them, or did they just put like on the telly um, and they see do you now, singing yeah. it? Yeah. Well, they do now after seeing it on the telly. Yeah. Well, it wasn't out. So you didn't so say. By the way, <laughs> written this massive song for you. No. You don't tell people. No. So it's just a surprise. So if someone could be listening today who's not heard the album and be like, hang on, that's about me. Potentially. Who's it about then? Someone from Carolina. <laughs> 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 Can't remember the name, but they were well fit. <laughs> um, <laughs> stuff from Harry Styles. This is Carolina on BBC Radio 1. She's a good girl. One. Tell that story, please, what you just told me that, <clears throat> about that song. Oh, so the... The person who who it's about uh, found out. I found out how they found out that it was on there, and they their dad watches the Today Show, which is like day. GMTV. Is, or something. Yeah, it's like the morning GMTV. show. GMTV, the one I did Good morning, in, in New York, uh, and he like left her a voicemail saying, um, "I think he just sang a song about you on the on the TV on the telly," and that's yeah. And that's how she found out. It's pretty mad to find out that someone's written a song about you on the Today Show. Is it? Yes. Is it? (laughs) Yeah. Wouldn't you think that was mad if you put the telly on and someone's like, Oh, (laughs) Harry. Look, if you turned the radio on and we'd written a song about you, you'd be like, you wouldn't find that weird. Maybe, yeah. Maybe when you put it like that. Do you know what I mean? I think it'd be weird. It's nice, though. It's nice. Unless you're, like, slagging him off in the song. Which I am not. Which you are not. She's yeah. from Carolina. She's such a good girl. <laughs> Why? Talk to me about this, because this is the song that your really eagle-eye fans, you know, you put the teaser up for, like, behind-the-scenes movie of the of the uh, yeah. album. Yeah. They, like, paused it and zoomed in on things. And this has been on the actual news. Don't look through there. Just go with it. Just go with it. Um, uh, this has been on the actual news. <clears throat> like, uh, apparently Harry Styles has written a song about Taylor Swift. <gasps> You're going to be asked about this. I'm doing you a favour here. What is this song about? 
we hit fave. Don't make me go to the lyrics. I have the lyrics. Um, I mean, I think it's pretty, like, self-explanatory. Is it? Right? Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. To you, but not to us. Help me, Jeffrey. No, Jeffrey. I think, I think, Jeff I don't know. <laughs> Should we get I Jeffrey to come in and tell us what the song's about? No. No. Um, I think, you know, it's about sometimes things change. Yeah. Uh, and you can be, you know, do all the same things. And sometimes it's just different, you know? That is a <laughs> roundabout the houses answer. 2017 Philosopher London, England. So here we go, the one about Taylor Swift. Um, um, no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is Two Girls on Radio 1. <laughs> Hi, Harry. Hello. 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 Uh, we are currently doing the Harry Styles listening party. Everyone's going mad on Twitter for this. Everyone's really, really enjoying it. I'm personally having a fabulous time. Me too. I kind of never want it to end, but you have to leave in a bit. So yeah. it's going to have to end. But it's been ma nice knowing you. Really nice. Everything has to end at some point. Yeah. It really does. Including the Radio 1 Breakfast Show. No. Um, there's been a complaint. Ellie's been on in Bristol. Uh, she says, as a One Direction fan, I thought hiatus would be good for my GCSE year. So can I ask Harry why all three of them are releasing music five days before my exam? Why? Why have you done this? She says, can I hold you responsible when I fail because I'm listening to your album instead of revising? What I'd say is passing the blame is never, you know, it's not really a solution. What I'd say is might be time to start taking responsibility for your actions. And if wow. you're not revising, it's not on me, sister. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, think girl. there's a reason why. <laughs> there may be a reason why I've never said that before. <laughs> we just worked out. Because when you say first it. and last time. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get into the next song now, which is yes. called Woman. <clears throat> Woman. This is the one uh, that your stepdad Robin. Yeah. Said uh, well, last time you were on, you told us the story of him saying it sounded like there was a duck on the record. Yeah. What actually was the duck noise? Who made the duck noise? The duck noise is me. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's a compliment of sorts. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> um, like with like effects on it. And now I think um, now everyone listens to it and thinks it's a duck. Oh no. He's done what we did for Lord. And we've cream egged it. Yeah, we've, we've cream egged it. Um, we want to talk about the start of this record because yeah. I, was, I was listening to this last night mm. and I noticed at the start there's, there's, there's a man talking about watching someone on the telly. Yeah. Have a little listen, everyone. Should we just search romantic comedies on Netflix and then see what we find? Is that Mark Ronson? <laughs> it's actually not. No. No. Sounds quite he like wouldn't him. do it. Would he not? No, no. he's very busy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that says we should we watch romantic comedies on Netflix. What do you like to watch well, in the rom-com world When I was in Netflix? Jamaica, we kind of got into a routine of like, we would write and then we'd have dinner uh -huh. and then we'd watch countless amounts of Romantic comedy. What like did you Mindless watch? movies. Uh -huh. Anything that Nicholas Sparks has ever done. Uh -huh. Ticked off. <laughs> <laughs> like from beginning it's to end. It's actually what the album's about. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so there was a lot of that. Um, I mean, I always circle back to the notebook. You love the notebook. Um, I don't like the notebook. You, you, that much. Lo you love the notebook. Okay, I love the You're notebook. You're never not I think watching it's a good the notebook. Movie. We've watched it before. We have watched it before. I don't like The Notebook, and Harry you loves really liked The no, Notebook. No, I did not, actually. He loves it, and you know all the... You know, you do that thing where you repeat no. the... You say the lines no. as if you're Ryan Gosling. No. Yes, you That's do. That's not true. We watch... I play Rachel McAdams. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. I'm Ryan Gosling. Yeah. No, we watched it once at, at your house. Me and you. It's daytime. Daytime. Post-roast. It was fine it, because it was, it was Jurassic, daytime. It was Jurassic Park. Yeah. Roast. Then the notebook. Yeah, and it was fine because it was the daytime. Fine, but then as it gets to like the sadder part of the film, the sun began to set. Yeah, and then suddenly you realise, you know, after a couple hours, you're suddenly sat there watching the notebook in candlelight, <laughs> and you're like, "This is different." This from is when different. It started. And that's why my head's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Should we play woman then? 
Uh, yes, yes. Yes. Let's play woman. Brand new stuff from Harry woman. Styles. Woman. Let's search romantic comedies on Netflix and then see what we find. Harry Styles is here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We're about to play our final song, and then we're you're getting out of here. Thank what are you. your What are your plans today? What's going to be happening? Um, I'm uh, I'm going over to uh, Radio Two. Yes. Um, I'll be over there. Yeah. Which is I don't know. But you can't actually listen to it, which is weird. You should keep listening to Radio One Breakfast Show because Miley Cyrus in a headphone. No, you can't. Just oh, listen to us. Um, I like before I said because you know, like album release day. I yeah. thought Harry would have like really grand, amazing plans. I said, "What are you doing today?" He's like, "Gonna have a nap." <laughs> <laughs> it's like the album's that good. I'm just gonna take a sleep in the day. Can we talk about the um, the stage diving we saw in the news this week? Yeah. That you you uh, did a stage dive or something and fell on your face. Doesn't feel as cool as you think it does. Does it not? No. <laughs> what happened and where was it? Do you know what? It didn't fail, is what I'll say. I was up. The enemy said it did. G- yeah. Of course they did. <laughs> um, what I'd say is, I've never done one before in my life. Uh-huh. Felt like a time. Yeah. Um, there was not that many people there. It was like a small little radio show. Uh huh. Um, and I went for it. I was encouraged. Um, I got the thumbs up from the powers that be. Yeah. And I went for it, and I was up for a second, and then kind of sink cold oh. down ooh, ooh. the middle. Ooh, would you like to try one now? Mm. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Don't try Seem one now? enthusiastic. Yeah? yeah? Come on, then. Who am I jumping? Stand on there. We'll all gather Is this around. like when you made Tom Daly jump into a bath from the sink? <laughs> Filled up the bath. <laughs> yeah, go, go on, on, dive then. Go on, then, dive then. Yeah, that actually happened. Um, did he dive? Can't no. remember. Anyway. Um... So stage dives, do be careful of those. I wanted to ask you about that. Also, I wanted to ask you while we've got you about the stunt double yes. in the Sign of the Times video because mm. that, that that's the meme of the year, I feel. Who is that guy and what's that a mask? His name's Marty. He's yes. a very, very brave man. Yes. Um, it was a mask that was not his face. Oh, okay. Um, I thought that you'd been up there and like you, you'd been going so fast, your face no. is <laughs> No, basically, because I was hanging from a helicopter, they had to send him ahead uh-huh. and show me what I was doing so that I didn't get up there and be like, what the hell am I doing? What am I doing up here? <laughs> get a look at the lad that needed that. So he showed you, but That's he's become way like, too accurate. he's become famous on the internet, that guy. I want him on the show. I really want him on the he's show. He's a very nice man. In the mask as well and very everything. Nice yeah. Um, thank you yeah. for coming on. Thanks for having me on. And congratulations. And uh, it's really, really great album. Thank you. I, I really enjoy it. liking it so far. Yeah, we're liking it. We're liking it. We're liking Thanks. it. Um, next week, we have genuinely, it's like One Direction Fridays. We had you on, and yeah. then we had like two weeks off. We had Nile in last Friday, mm-hmm. got you in today, and then mm-hmm. genuinely, Liam Payne is going to be on the show next Friday. It's Fridays. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. One, do you have any advice for him? Because this is his solo record. Like, you've done it. It's all worked out. I think Everyone it's going to be great. It. Yeah? Yeah. I think it's going to be great. Liam's always, you know, written and done stuff with production and stuff and I think it's gonna be it's gonna be fun have you had a go on the chain Niles had a go on the the pain chain Chain. have you not seen Liam Payne's big heavy chain no you've not seen it pain chain the pain chain I haven't seen it oh my god Niles tried it on and everything oh really you need to get onto that get the pain chain chain. Um, well he's gonna be here next Friday yeah massive chain pain chain Um, is he chained to something no 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 it's just like a necklace to the rhythm yeah yeah oh okay yeah Um, we're gonna end on Kiwi yeah this is a good one, isn't it? Thanks. Tell us all about Kiwi before you go. This Harry. is fun. This kind of started out as a joke, and then now it's one of my favorite songs. It was one of the first ones I wrote for the album um, when I was getting out a lot of energy. Uh, I hadn't written or been in the studio for a long time. Uh, and then this came out, and, and I really like it now. Okay, perfect. Well, let's yeah. hear it. This is Kiwi. Thanks for having me, everyone. Thank you, Harry. Thanks See you soon. Listening. Bye. She walked away through a cheap pack of cigarettes. Hardly 